हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ट्रांसफार्मर कपल्ड क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ट्रांसफार्मर कपल्ड क्लास ए पावर एम्पलीफायर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रांसफार्मर एक्शन और द वर्किंग ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर if we consider a transformer it consists of two sections first one is primary side and second one is the secondary side in the primary side the voltage is v1 and the current is i1 and the resistor across the primary side is rl dash or we can write this as r1 also and the voltage across the secondary side is v2 and current flowing through the secondary of a transformer is i2 and the resistor across the output side or the secondary side is rl or we can write it as r2 also here n1 represents the number of turns in the coil at the primary side and n2 represents the number of turns in the coil at the secondary of a transformer generally a transformer is used to convert from ac to ac so transformer is used to convert from ac to ac so here in a transformer if v2 is greater than v1 at that case we call the transformer as step up transformer and if v1 is greater than v2 at that case we call the transformer as a step down transformer so generally a transformer is used to convert from ac to ac so depending upon the voltage across primary side as well as the secondary side we can say a transformer as a step up transformer or a step down transformer so if the voltage across the secondary is more compared to the voltage across the primary of the transformer such transformer is known as a step up transformer and if the voltage across the primary of the transformer is more compared to the secondary of the transformer then such type of transformer are known as a step down transformer here the ratio v2 divided by v1 can be equated to n2 divided by n1 so this is known as the voltage transformation and the current ratio i2 divided by i1 can be given as n1 divided by n2 so this is the current transformation the ratio rl divided by rl dash can be given as r2 divided by r1 that is nothing but v2 divided by i2 whole divided by v1 divided by i1 so this is known as impedance transformation so here rl is the output resistance that can be represented as r2 rl dash is the input resistance that can be represented as r1 therefore r2 divided by r1 is equal to v2 i1 divided by v1 i2 so we know the expression for v2 divided by v1 and we know the expression for i1 divided by i2 so let us substitute this value so it will be n2 divided by n1 into n2 divided by n1 so we can write this as n2 divided by n1 whole square therefore r2 divided by r1 is equal to n2 divided by n1 whole square from this we can write r1 divided by r2 is equal to n1 divided by n2 whole square so from the above expression in place of r1 we can write it as rl dash divided by in place of r2 we can write it as rl 
will be equal to n1 divided by n2 whole square. So, we can say RL dash is equal to n1 divided by n2 whole square into RL. So, this is the relation between the input resistance as well as the output resistance of a, a transformer. Now, let us understand DC analysis. So, this transformer will be connected across the collector of the class A amplifier. So, that's why resistor across the collector side will be RL dash. Therefore, resistance across collector will be 1 by RL dash. Since winding resistance in a transformer is assumed to be equal to 0, therefore, we can write 1 by 0 will be equal to infinity. So, across the IC, in a DC analysis, we will be having a value as infinity. And the voltage across the output side can be given as VCC minus VCE will be equal to 0. From this, we can say VCE is equal to VCC. So, VCE at Q point will be equal to VCC. So, we got two points. VCE at Q point is VCC and IC at Q point is infinity. So, if we draw a DC load line, we will get two points. VCQ is at VCC and ICQ will be infinity. That is why the DC load line will be a perpendicular line. So, this is DC load line and the slope of this DC load line will be equal to 1 by RL. Similar to DC load line, we can draw an AC load line which will be having a slope of 1 by RL dash. So, if you draw the current and voltages with respect to Q point which is at the center of the DC load line. From this Q point, as you can see, the value is VCC from 0 to this point, from this point up to here. So, it will be 2 times VCC. Similarly, we can say from 0 to this point, it is ICQ. So, from 0 to this point, so it will be 2 ICQ. So, VCE maximum is 2 VCC. ICQ maximum is 2 ICQ. So, ICQ minimum is 0. Similarly, VCE minimum is also 0. Now, let us understand transformer coupled class A power amplifier. So, here instead of using the resistor RC, a transformer is used to design a class A power amplifier. That is why it is known as transformer coupled class A power amplifier. Here, N1 is number of turns in primary coil, N2 is the number of turns in secondary coil, V1 is the voltage applied to the primary side of the transformer, V2 is the secondary voltage, I1 is the primary current and I2 is the secondary current. Here V2 will be equal to output voltage V0. Here the input DC power can be given as PI DC is equal to VCC into ICQ. This expression is similar to series fed class A power amplifier. We can use the same equation. Now let us understand output AC power. Let us assume VIM as peak value of primary voltage and IIM as peak value of primary current. The output power can be given as in terms of RMS value as VCE RMS into IC RMS. So, here VCE RMS can be given as VIM divided by root 2 
and icrms can be given as i i m divided by root 2 therefore in terms of peak value we can write p not will be given as v i m divided by root 2 multiplied with i i m divided by root 2 therefore output power can be given as v i m into i i m divided by 2 so this is the output power in terms of peak voltage if we consider the ac signal so this peak will be known as maximum value of the voltage and this is the minimum value of the voltage in the same way from this origin point so up to maximum value it is peak voltage from this negative peak up to positive peak it will be peak to peak voltage so from this we can say peak voltage is v i m that is nothing but v peak to peak divided by 2 so peak voltage will be half of peak to peak voltage and v peak to peak in terms of maximum and minimum voltage can be given as v maximum minus v minimum and v peak voltage is half of peak to peak voltage that's why it will be v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 therefore we can say v i m is equal to v peak to peak divided by 2 similarly we can write for current i i m is equal to i peak to peak divided by 2 in terms of maximum and minimum voltage we can write v i m is equal to v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 and i i m can be written as i maximum minus i minimum divided by 2 so if we use this equation in this equation we will get output power in terms of ac is equal to 1 by 2 into v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 into i maximum minus i minimum divided by 2 therefore we can write output power is equal to v maximum minus v minimum into i maximum minus i minimum divided by 8 so this is the output ac power in terms of maximum and minimum voltage now let us find the maximum efficiency of transformer coupled class a power amplifier from ac and dc analysis we understood that v maximum is equal to 2 times vcc and v minimum is equal to 0 in the same way we can write i maximum is equal to 2 times icq and i minimum is equal to 0 therefore input dc power can be written as vcc into icq and output power can be written as if we substitute the value of maximum and minimum value in this equation we will get 2 vcc minus 0 into 2 times icq minus 0 divided by 8 so it will be 4 vcc into icq divided by 8 therefore output power will be equal to vcc into icq divided by 2 now maximum efficiency in terms of percentage can be written as output power divided by input power into 100 which will give the answer in terms of percentage so if we substitute the values it will be equal to 
VCC into ICQ divided by 2 times VCC into ICQ into 100%. So, if you cancel out VCC and ICQ, so it will be 100% divided by 2. Therefore, the maximum efficiency of transformer coupled class A power amplifier is 50%. For a series fed class A power amplifier, we got the efficiency as 25% and for transformer coupled class A power amplifier, we got the efficiency as 50%. That's why the efficiency of class A power amplifier is always between 25% to 50%. So this you need to remember that the maximum efficiency of a class A power amplifier is between 25% to 50%. This is about transformer coupled class A power amplifier. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.